Hello, St. Peter's. Welcome back for another library time. Well, it's starting to feel more like spring instead of summer around here. So we have our sweatshirts on, but the sun is shining. It's a great day to think about springtime. What kind of things happen in the spring? Well, if you notice, if you walk around, maybe even just your yard or your neighborhood, you'll notice that on the trees, little buds will be sprouting and that's where leaves will grow. Some trees have a lot of flowers on them and that's how their, their leaves grow or if they have fruit, the fruit comes from those flowers. The grass is starting to get greener and something else really cool happens in the springtime. Butterflies, you start to see butterflies. So the caterpillars start to get fat and they start eating all those leaves. And then after they come out of their chrysalis, they become a butterfly. Now, last year we read a book about a very impatient caterpillar. Well, this time we're gonna see what happens now that he's a butterfly. So what do you say, are you ready? My friends are here and look, we got a new chair in the library and they love it. They're all sharing it together. Sister Cordell gave this to us. Wasn't that nice of her? So we have Ralph lounging about. We have Magic Monkey and our Pig of Joy and her Jar of Joy is right here. And of course our friend Daisy is lounging and ready for a story as well. Are you ready to see what we're going to read? All right, well first we have to get ready. So let's turn up our ears so we're ready to listen. Turn off our mouths so we don't make a sound. Mm -hmm. Put your hands quietly in your lap. Take a nice big deep breath. <sighs> and now we're ready for our story. I can't wait for you to see it. We have a really cool way to make some butterflies at the end of our story. This is called The Little Butterfly That Could by Ross, Ross Brock. So if you saw my video, it was last year we did The Very Impatient Caterpillar. I've read it a few times to the kids at school. Now he's a butterfly. Now he needs to believe in himself so that he can fly and meet his family. The little butterfly that could. Are you ready? It's a pretty silly book. And he says this. Oh, what if I can't? <laughs> He's very worried. Even on the cover page, he is worried. And he says, where are the flowers? Hmm. He, doesn't, he needs flowers, right? So that he can drink. Here we go. Oh, you know what this is? That's right, it's a whale. He's very, very large. He's much bigger than the butterfly. Here we go. Hey, have you seen a group of migrating butterflies? Oh, they went that way. I'm so close. Yeah, it's only 200 more miles. 200 miles? Ah. Oh no, that seems very far away. How am I supposed to travel that far? You fly. Can I take a plane? No. A hot air balloon? No. A blimp? No. Oh, then I'll never make it. He is very dramatic. <laughs> I told you this one was silly. Oh, life was so much simpler as a caterpillar. He drew a picture and it says, me. I easily built a chrysalis. He was lounging and telling the story on top of the whale. Patiently waited to become a butterfly. Ta-da! Then began my journey with friends to find flowers. But then... Things got cloudy. When I emerged 
I was lost and alone. You'll get there one mile at a time. But, oh, look, he's sad. He's got tears in his eyes. And his whale friend's giving him a tissue. So he went, he flew through a cloud. And then he lost his other friends. What, what if I, I get lost again? Or caught in a storm? Oh, what if a snake tries to eat me? Or a lizard? Or a bird? Or a dragonfly? Or a frog? Or a spider? Oh, why does everyone think I'm so delicious? Oh my, he's so worried. And he's reading a book that's called The Big Book of Things That Eat Butterflies. <laughs> that's pretty silly. Oh, we all get scared. Even you? You are the biggest creature in the ocean. But the ocean is bigger. Sometimes I get butterflies in my stomach, too. Hmm. Did you ever get scared and your stomach feels like there's butterflies flying around? Yeah, we all get scared. Even big people. Whoosh! Uh-oh. He flew down into him. What are you doing? I'll just stay in here with the other butterflies. This is way more spacious than my chrysalis. Hmm. Anything other to eat than krill? No? Well, I'll just order in. Hello? A bouquet of flowers, please. Extra nectar. The occasion? I'm hungry. My address? A whale! Clicked. Hello? Hello? Oh my goodness. So he thought he really had butterflies in his stomach. So he went down the whale's blowhole to try to find the other butterflies. Guess what? There really aren't any. And do you think he could get food delivered in a whale? <laughs> no way. Even if it is just flowers. He is so silly. So the whale is trying to get him out of his stomach. <gasps> what? Can't I just live in your stomach forever? No. How about a one-year lease? No. You have to keep trying. Mm, that sounds like good advice. Right, right. Keep trying. 200 miles. No problem. <sighs> Getting closer. Now it's nighttime. I can smell the flowers. So he flew all night long and the sun's coming back up in the morning. How far did I fly? Hmm. Two feet. Two feet? That's it? Oh, all I smell is failure. Oh, don't give up. Keep trying. Right, right. Keep trying. Nothing can stop me. Oh, except the wind. Oh, no. Now the wind is so strong. It's blowing him back. Splat right back onto the whale. Oh, no. Now that two feet he flew, he's not even that far. Oh, right back where I started. I'll never get there. You're just not there yet. <gasps> wow. Look at his big jump. Believe you can. Okay. Believe. You can do it. You were born to fly. I was born to cry. 
The only thing you have to fear is everything. Oh. If at first you don't succeed, stop trying. No, no. If at first you don't succeed, fly, fly again. Hmm. So he is trying to psych himself up. Go find your way. I got this. All right. Good job, butterfly. I hope he makes it. Stay on track. He's at mile 25. Wind at my back. Mile 50. Don't get eaten. Look at all the creatures trying to eat him. That's at mile 100. He's halfway there. Keep trying. Mile 125. Keep flying. Mile 150. Stop for some water. Not, he didn't stop. He kept going with his water. Keep trying. 200 miles later. Isn't that how far he had to go? He looks pretty tired. Do you think he made it? Do you think he's going to find his friends? Let's see. <gasps> I did it! Oh, you found your way! They're so excited to see him and look at the flowers over here. Pretty cool. You know, there's nothing I can't do when I believe in myself. I could fly a million more miles. Oh, that's great. Now eat up before we go dormant. Dorma what now? You know, stay still all winter. Right, right. Stay still all winter. No problem. Hmm. How long is winter? Oh boy. He just keeps going from one problem to the next. But he made it. He didn't think he could do it. He was sad. He wanted to give up. He was dejected. And the whale kept saying, no, I'm not going to let you stay inside of me. And that wasn't him being mean. That was him being a friend. Because he want, he know, knew that butterfly needed to get those, to those flowers or he would have starved, right? So even though it was hard for the butterfly to understand, that whale had to keep pushing him and sending him on his way. Have you ever tried to do something that you thought was really difficult, it was really challenging, and you just wanted to give up? And maybe for a while you did. Kind of like the butterfly went inside the whale's stomach. He was just like, that's okay. I'm just going to stay here. We might do that sometimes too. Maybe if you're trying to ride a bike and you keep falling, or you're trying to do some roller skates or roller blades and you keep falling down and you just can't do it, or you're trying to hit a ball and you keep missing and striking out, it's easy to give up. That's the easy part. But guess what? If you give up, then you don't get the reward. Then you don't get to have fun of playing and finding out what it feels like when you accomplish that. And he got to feel like it, because even though it wasn't easy, he kept going and he figured out he had to just fly and keep getting there, and he did. And he found his friends and got all those flowers. If the butterfly can do it, you can do it too. Would you like to make a butterfly? It's a perfect symbol of spring. You can hang them up in your window. <clears throat> You could hang them on your bedpost. You could do whatever you want. You could give them away to people. So we're going to use a few simple items. And, oh no, where are my tissues? I'm going to have, oh, they're right in front of me. Here they are. So here are the butterflies I already made. And I'm going to show you how I made them. So there's a few different ways. And you might have different supplies at home. So I'm going to tell you all the different ways. And you might even think of something new of how you can make some butterflies. So this one I used a tissue, and this is called a pipe cleaner, right? Now a pipe cleaner, I don't know if I have another one with me. A pipe cleaner is bendy, right? It bends around. 
and it comes pretty long and then you can trim it up. So I made this one out of a tissue and a pipe cleaner. And then I made one with a paper towel and all I did was attach it with a paper clip, right? So it looks like a butterfly. I also have some string. I'm gonna show you how I do it. So the fun thing is if you use a paper towel or a tissue, almost everyone has those things, right? The cool thing about that is they're very light. So when you color on them, the color even kind of goes through to the back side. So always, and because they do that, I want to make sure that you put a piece of paper underneath because if you're using markers, that's what we're gonna use. If you're using markers or if you decide to use watercolors, if you have watercolors at home, you could use those. It's gonna bleed through a little bit. So you wanna make sure you use a paper underneath so it doesn't bleed through. I'm going to use markers today. If you have watercolors, that is just fine. Now, my butterfly, here's a tissue. See, I opened it all the way up. I laid it flat on my paper, and then I'm gonna take my marker. Now, this is really the easy part. This is really fun, because you get to design it any way that you want. You, if you like polka dots, you can make dots. It's a little trickier when I have to hold it up, but for you, if it's flat on the ground, it won't be so hard, right? So you're gonna make some circles and you see how it's really thin. So you have to hold it down sometimes to be able to do it. Or maybe I'm gonna add with my green circles, I'm gonna add some purple stars. You know how to make a star? You go up and down first. When you're down here, you cross up, over and down. That's one way to make a star. You could make a star that just looks like an X and then you put a line through the middle and a line through the top. It's kind of like a snowflake star, right? So I'm gonna make a few purple stars and it's okay if your tissue moves around a little bit. It's all right. Now, here's another cool thing you can do. If you just take your marker and you hold it on there, it's gonna make some nice, cool dots and this is what I'm talking about, watch. See, it got on my paper, but that's okay. It, ble it bleeds through a little bit. So you could just make dots all around. Some of you might have some stampers, some stamper markers, things like that. That would work too. Let's add a little more color. So let's take a red marker and we'll make some lines with the red marker, right? I'm just gonna make lines down in any sort of way that I want. That's just my design. It can be, your design can be any way that you want it. So now once you've done that, you're gonna take it and you're just gonna squeeze it down in the middle. You just pinch it in the middle. And as you're pinching it, then you can kind of fluff it back up, right? So remember on this one, I used a pipe cleaner. What if you don't have a pipe cleaner? Well, you could use a, let's call it like a tie, a bag tie. You get them with baggies sometimes. You get them with garbage bags. You could use a tie like that. Or you could take some yarn. I have some yarn right here. Get my scissors. I'm just going to cut a piece of yarn. Right? Any kind of yarn or string. So I set this down. I got to sh shrink it back down again. So it's just kind of like pinched in the middle and I'm gonna use my string and you might need to have a grown-up help you with this part. And I'm just gonna tie it like you're tying, like you're starting to tie your shoe. You're just gonna pull it like that. Zoop. See, I pulled it tight. And then I'm gonna do that one more time so it makes a knot. We don't need to make a bow because we don't want it to come apart, right? So all you need is a little bit of string. It can be any kind of string. Now, the cool thing about that is if you make your butterfly with a string, you might have a little bit left on the back, so then you can use it to hang it up or to tie it around something, right? Like, let's tie it around Ralph's horn. What do you think, Ralph? Would you like to have a butterfly on your horn today? That's pretty fun. Here, let's see what it looks like. There it is with the stars. Look at that. It looks like Ralph has a bow on his horn. That's great. 
It's a butterfly bow, right? Well, what happens if we use a paper towel? Where is my, oh, I'm going to show you with the paper towel that I have right here. So here's what I did with this one. Again, hold it down on your paper. So the paper towel, look at how it goes through the back, right? I made this crazy pattern on the front, but I thought, hmm, if I hang this up in a window, I really want people to think that it's cool looking. So I'm gonna flip it over and add even more color on the back side. So part of it will be darker on one side and part will be darker on the other. But this time, what if I made like some big squares out of orange? I'm even kind of going right over the design that I already have on there. I thought that might really make it stand out a little bit. Now my paper towel, it's a little bit thicker than the tissue. So it's a little easier to color it in. It's hard to color in big shapes on a tissue because it's so thin and so flimsy. So once again, now look at this. Here's one side and here's the other side. You can see right through it. So once again, you're gonna scrunch it down in the middle, right? Fluff it up, that's pretty amazing. And then you can use a paper clip or you can use your string again, or I wanna see something neat. You might not have these. I have a clothespin. This is even a crazier looking clothespin because it doesn't have the kind you pinch open but it does have like a little head on the top. So it looks like it could be a face. So if you squeeze your butterfly really tight in the middle, you can stick it into the paper or the clothespin like this, but that's okay. If you don't have a clothespin, don't worry about it. Now you might think, hmm, I don't have a clothespin, but I want to have a body on mine, right? So instead of that, we could take our tissue, okay? Here's our tissue. I'm not going to decorate this one. You already know how to decorate it. If we take our tissue and we get a piece of paper, it can be any color, and I'm just going to draw a butterfly body, just an oval, okay? If you want to add a little head on top like that, you can do that. So I'm just going to color it in, color in. He's going to be a purple, a purple butterfly body. And then I'm going to cut this body out and I can use that on my butterfly. There's my purple butterfly. Okay. Now, if you want, you can add some eyes. I, you kind of, you chose a dark color, so it's going to be hard to see his eyes with my blue pen. You can kind of see them. Might be hard for you to see them at home. So you can make you can make it a lighter color if you make him, there's his smile. If you make him yellow, it'll be easier to see. Okay, so then you're gonna cut out your body, your butterfly body. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Okay, I cut out my body. I have my butterfly, I'm gonna show you on here. All I need to do is get a piece of tape, which I don't have right now, and tape it right on to the bow. I gotta take him off, Ralph, so you can see what it looks like. And there you have your butterfly with a body. So it's just out of paper, and you're gonna tape it back on there. That's pretty neat, right? So if you have one of these, a clothespin, that's great. If you don't, no matter what you use, if you use a pipe cleaner, it kind of already looks like a butterfly body. See that? Or you just make your own butterfly. Just tape it right on there. I love it. What do you think? So you can hang those in a window. You can tie a string on it whatever you want to do, but it would be look really great in the window, especially the ones that we make sure we have two sides. That's how you make a butterfly. What do you think? Did you like that story? I do too. It really got me excited for spring and I thought he was really funny, that butterfly in our story. 
All right, that's all we have today. So now we need to spread some joy. What do you think, Joy? Are you ready? I think she's ready to spread some joy. All right, let's shake up this joy jar. I know with the sun coming out, it makes everyone feel better, but we could always use a little extra joy in our day, no matter what. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Tell a joke to make someone laugh. You know what? I actually have a joke. I just learned it from a kindergartner actually this week. Do you want to hear it? Okay. I think Elian told me this joke today, uh, just a couple days ago on Monday. He said, what do you call an apple who plays a trumpet? Hmm. Do you know? What do you call an apple that plays a trumpet? A tutti frutti. <laughs> Isn't that funny? A tutti frutti because he's toot, toot, toot. I thought that was a good one. Thanks for the joke, Elian. So go ahead and tell a joke. I hope that made you giggle a little bit because laughing always makes you feel better. You can use my joke. If you have another joke, let me know what it is. I love to use your joke whenever I pull that out of my jar of joy too. Jokes always perk everyone up and lighten the mood. So even if people seem a little grumpy or angry, tell them a joke. I bet you they'll be so happy that you shared your joy with them. All right, so that's all we have today. We're gonna go make some butterflies. You can fly them away. Ooh, those fly really nicely. They're gonna fly away and have some fun outside. My friends are gonna go have some fun outside. Once you make some butterflies, share them with me. Send me a picture. You can email them to me. You can send them, put them in the comments here. And until then, boys and girls, I want you to enjoy the day, have fun with your books, and most importantly, keep spreading your joy.